Hello, I'm Sam Kerr. I'm a principal product manager here at GitLab focused on the defend stage. Hi, and I'm Lucas Charles. I'm a senior software engineer on the defend stage at GitLab as well. And today we're going to be showing you a demo of the new web application firewall capability that's built into GitLab 12.3. So what we have on the screen right now, this is an example application that we want to deploy to a cluster and protect with the web application firewall. So the first step of deploying this is we're going to add a new Kubernetes cluster to our project. We'll enter the details for the cluster and configure it. So once our cluster has been provisioned, our next step will be to install Helm Tiller. And this is going to be what is required to manage the GitLab installed applications into our cluster, including the web application firewall. Now the Tiller has been installed into our cluster, we'll install Ingress into our cluster as well. And when we're installing Ingress, this is also installing the web application firewall into our cluster as well. There's no additional steps needed by you or your users to add the WAF capability to newly created clusters with GitLab. So now that our application has been deployed to the cluster, we can interact with it. And the application is a simple greeting machine that when you enter your name, it greets you. But rather than entering just our name, let's enter something that looks a little bit more suspicious to the application. Specifically, let's try and inject a piece of JavaScript into this input so that it's served to other users. So you see when Lucas added that, he has injected JavaScript into the page. That's why we see that pop up. But also on the bottom half of the window, this is the log from the web application firewall immediately being able to detect and identify this traffic as malicious. The web application firewall has been pre-configured with a powerful set of rules from OWASP. And you can look at the logs in your cluster anytime to see any of the traffic that's been identified as potentially malicious. This capability is available in GitLab 12.3 and you can read more details in our product documentation online. Thank you very much.